Hey guys, Buff from Game Back, bringing you another video today for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to be covering part one of the Frankenstein weapon blueprint customization that was added to the game last week. So what we're going to do is go through about 10 or plus pre-built classes that I have here. We'll mix and match some builds, show you how this system works and what you can use based on the blueprints that you have unlocked for the weapon. Then we'll pick up with part two and I'll ask for your suggestions for different builds that we can make down below in the comments. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have one of our builds, but we're going to not start with this one, actually. We're going to go ahead and back out. I have this pre-built in my customized match making system, so we'll go ahead for the... First one, we're going to start with the MP510. So I was just playing around with a different couple blueprints here. So here we have... I'm starting with the Heat Cycle blueprint, and just... This is kind of a goofier build. We're mixing and matching different attachments based on the blueprint. So how this system works, if you haven't played with this yet, based on how many blueprints you have unlocked per weapon you can mix and match any attachment variant for that weapon so for example you can see for the mp5s i have seven different blueprints total online same with like the m4 and the ak's i have at least 10 of those ones so you can mix and match all these cosmetic parts for the most part so let's go ahead and jump into this so here we see with the heat cycle the way this changes so let me go ahead and strip this down and we'll try and pre built that the way we had it so I'm actually going to start with the heat cycle blueprint so if we select that and then go into the customization for that weapon so here we have the base heat cycle blueprint that you can get unlock via challenges in game so what we can do here different customization options you can see compensator we can cycle through for the heat cycle the compensator that comes with the sand snake versus the default so you can select the different cosmetic changes that you want now a lot of these may just be something as simple as a color change or a shade change to the color but some of these, like the tactical suppressor here, we have the base for the heat cycle and then for the cover-up blueprint. So we can mix and match this type of cosmetic change to the suppressor there. And then it, also for the different barrels options here, you see the heat cycle, or we can do the point blank, or even the flood. But this, you can see, we have the heat cycle. This is actually going to change the whole upper receiver if we swap this out for some of these other attachments. So we'll go ahead and select point blank. Now also you can just see how some of these other ones may look, like FFS Light, you can see the cosmetic changes with the base, Feeling Rusty, or even Rampage right there. So you can see those are nice builds too, but again we'll go ahead with the one that we have here for the FFS Mini. It's going to change the whole color of the upper receiver, but it cosmetically is still the same, just mainly a color change. You can see there's no changes to the tack lights on this. Now for the optic, again, you can mix and match some of these. So we have the heat cycle versus the base. So again, that's a color change. We have the solo zero versus the cover-up cosmetic change for that NVG optic. Now if we go down, we can do something like an integral hybrid. So we have the base, and then we can do something like the sand snake and mix and match that. We also have for the stocks, you can see the heat cycle versus the base. We have the different options we can utilize here for the classic stock, point blank, you can see those cosmetic changes, or even a collapsed dock. So we have the base feeling rusty, or the sand snake. So we're actually going to stick with the base for this one. Now we have the 10 millimeter mags. So to make this an MP510, we have the 10 millimeter auto rounds. So we can do the different cosmetics for this. We have the heat cycle version, the cover up, or even the sand snake. And then obviously, if you want to do 45 rounds, you can see here how you can change those based on the blueprint as well. So we'll go ahead and actually do something weird like the sand snake and then those are our five attachments for this week and then you can just see the different underbarrel attachments here we can do something like the cover up versus the base for the tactical foregrip or even the operative foregrip sand snake versus the flood so you can see there that's just one example of how to mix and match these with the mp510 now if we did it a little bit of a different build here we can just swap out the barrel we'll do something like the ffs light so we have we actually swap it out for Let's do the feeling rusty, try and stay with a black finish for this. So we'll swap out the, for the heat cycle magazine for the 10 millimeter auto rounds. Now for the tactical suppressor, obviously we looked at the comp different compensators here. We'll actually stick with the, the same compensator. And then for the optic, let's go ahead and do the black PBX hollow. And then we'll go ahead for a default stock there. And then you have just that build. So you can see how that changes versus the barrel. Again, this is an MP510 using those 10 millimeter auto rounds. So that's an example of the Frankenstein attachments that we can utilize with this. Again, you have to, you can really use any base blueprint to start. But for example, like with the heat cycle, we're going to have the base 
cosmetics of that for example the upper receiver colors something like the cover-up we're going to have the receiver you're not going to be able to change those different camos with the the tape so again any attachment i make here like if i were to strip this down we could do something like a we could do some let's do a ffs light we'll do the rampage we'll just do a regular technical suppressor the optic we'll just leave we'll do an operator the stock will do a feeling rusty and then we can do something like the there we go so you can see you're not able to change really what that even the pistol grip you're able to cover it up with the actual grip tape but you're not gonna be able to change the actual pistol grip itself so versus cosmetic change which we'll see with some other builds here so let's go ahead and back out that's our mp510 now the stg77 i'm using the night raid blueprint again you can see i have just only three total blueprints here so the i don't have as many options as you may have based on how many you have unlocked but again for the night raid blueprint just mix in and matches of different things turning this into the stg77 with that longer barrel attachment so we'll strip this down Actually, let's go ahead and actually start with the Night Raid Blueprint itself. So we have a Night Raid Blueprint. Now for the Lightweight Suppressor, again, we're actually going to keep that. You can see the different change of the Night Raid Suppressor has that electrical tape around the suppressor, which is nice, gives it that blacker finish to the weapon by adding that electrical tape. Now for the barrel, we'll go ahead and do something like a Breach Beast barrel, or you could even do a default if you wanted to keep the black finish. But again, this is just showing off how you can mix and match these. So we'll go ahead with the Breach Beast, give it that 622 millimeter long barrel on the weapon turning it into mainly an SG-77. And then laser options, you can see, you can just, there's really no change at all with this one. It may be a slight tint to the color, but again, you can't really notice some of these at all. Now for the optic, we'll do something like a Breach Beast integral optic there for the three times. The stock, you can see the only change based on the blueprints I have is the Leecher blueprint, and it is a very minor change, just changing the height of the cheek rest there on the weapon as well as some cosmetic changes to the screws and you have the right in there on the side so we'll stay with the base there now for the grips you can see how that would change again very minimal change versus the base so we'll leave that blank now the ammo attachments here i don't have anything for the nine millimeter rounds but you can see nice changes to the night raid or the breach beast which i think is cool and then even the nato we have the leisure versus the base so again we'll stay with the night raid 556 nato and then for the underbarrel, you have for the options for the commando, I have unlocked the night raid or the leecher. And then again, for the tactical foregrip, we have a breach piece, which we'll go with that. So that's a nice little custom build you can do for the STG 77. And again, you can see how the receiver of the weapon really doesn't change based on the blueprint that we started. So you want to keep that in mind when you're building these. If I were to choose a different blueprint based on the base uh, blueprint itself how it looks we're not going to be able to change some of these things like I can't swap out an actual pistol grip or anything like that or swap out the receivers of the weapon for the cosmetic changes that you may see on other blueprints so just keep that in mind when you're making them we'll see a good example of that when we get to the M4s but the PKP Pechen Egg again so we'll make this one based off of I have a pre-built one that I did way back for our conversion series we have the PKP Pechen Egg here that I used off of the base PKM in game but again, you can see the base PKM, we have some changes versus the nice black finish of the baddie that I have unlocked. So if I go ahead and start with, let's actually start at base with the baddie. So we'll select this. We'll strip it down at base. So for the muzzle, we can actually, I think probably keep this. We can throw on, just for right now, we'll throw on the baddie muzzle brake. Now for the barrel, for the PKP patch and egg, we want that longer 25.9 inch heavy barrel. And again, we're gonna go ahead and select the version for the baddie just because it gives us that black finish to the weapon nice clean more, more modern design the five milliwatt laser again very minor changes to that versus on base of the blueprints now for the optic we can do something like a we want like a russian site for this we can do like a monocle reflex and you can see we don't really have any options there the vlk rogue also we have based on the wrong turn you can swap out the colors for that you can mix and match the colors for those weapons and that's really it so we're going to stay with the monocle now for the stock, we have that nice black base stock on the weapon. You can see what that would look like with the usurper, but we're gonna actually keep that because that changes that old wood rustic finish to a nice black plastic looking stock on the weapon. The rear grip, again, you can see we're not able to swap out actual pistol grips itself. You still have the base pistol grip just with the different tape options here. So you can see we can't change it to a black plastic pistol grip based on other blueprints that I have unlocked, or at least based on what I have unlocked. So. 
Again, we'll go ahead and put a black grip tape on that. At base, we have the, the black ammunition box here for the 100 round belt on the PKP. And then under barrel, we can do something like an operator grip you can see for the baddie versus this is just a slight change in color. And then we'll do the snatch grip there. So that's our PKP Petchen egg using the baddie blueprint at base. You can mix and match some of these. Now, next up, we're gonna cover the HK433 or the Kilo 141 in game. So this is more of a minor change. I'm using the base Kilo here. There's not, I don't really have that many blueprints unlocked for this one. So it's not a big cosmetic change to this, but I really do like, you can see the base compensator versus the battle tested compensator. We have a very nice cosmetic change that I really prefer the one for the battle tested. I think that looks very really nice. The laser, we can go ahead and select. You can see the standard laser versus the cruelene. We have a black, so a black versus a tan cosmetic change to the weapon. Optic, again, based on the blueprints I have, I don't really have anything besides a cannon hybrid for the cruelene. You can see how that changes there. But we'll go ahead and do something like a four times flip. Makes it look more modern, nice AK, HK433. Now a stock, we have some different options based on, again, the blueprints for the cruelene or the battle tested. So those look nice. We have a no stock option, again, just a tint to the black. And then the FFS close quarters, again, based on the one blueprint we have for the Union Black, changing that color. So we'll leave that. Pistol grip, we have different options here, again, just based on the Union Black. We'll go ahead and just, you can see the difference between the magazines here for the, Ber the Berliner. You can see it just changes, the, again, the shade of the color for a lot of these, or we can put something like a Cruelene magazine on the base HK433 for that 60 round Surefire magazine. But for this one, we'll just leave it blank. And then for the under barrel, you can do based on, again, what I have battle tested, which that, that one just looks ugly with that wooded tactical foregrip. You can do something like it for the Cruelene. And then we can, again, we'll throw that on just for fun. So then there's our HK433, just mixing and matching some of those blueprints together. That looks pretty cool. Again, I would prefer a black finish to the magazine, though, based on what game mode you're playing in. So we'll go ahead and just deselect that. And then we can put something like the granulate grip tape for the Union Black on there. So again, there's our HK433. It's a pretty nice looking build there. So next up, let's go ahead and back out and we'll go to our AKS 74U. So the previous ones that I was able to make for this, we can go to our blueprints. It's never really able to make a nice modernized looking one uh, with a black handguard on there. We have the Duly Devoted, which came out in the beginning of season three, which was pretty nice, but we had that red on the receiver, unfortunately. Then we had something like the Freedom Fighter, which you could make a nice looking design with that too. So that would definitely work for the AKS 74U, which we've done in the past. And then we had the base one, which I made initially for our conversion series. And you can see just how old and rustic that particular weapon looks. So what we'll do for this one is we're going to start with the, I think we started with the, we're actually going to start with the steel curtain for this one. So we want to start with the steel curtain blueprint to give us that black AK-12 pistol grip, as well as the cosmetic changes to the, the milled dust cover, as well as the stamped receiver. So we'll strip this down. We have our base AK-47. You can see we have our AK-12 pistol grip the milled, or excuse me, the stamp receiver and the rib dust cover now for the blueprint changes to the steel curtain. So for the, you can see here, you also have different, like a muzzle brake options. We'll get into those though, but we're gonna go ahead for the AKS 74U, we're gonna want that monolithic suppressor. Now for the barrel, we want obviously that 8.1 compact barrel. So you can see the different options we have for the Freedom Fighter. And then we're gonna want the Dually Devoted. It's gonna give us that black polymer or plastic handguard instead of the old rustic rustic wooden one or even the, the more modernized wood finish that we see with the Freedom Fighter. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the optic on this weapon, you can see we have different options for the steel curtain versions of the APX-5, as well as a Viper with the Freedom Fighter, duly devoted. So I'm gonna do Freedom Fighter just cause it's a more black finish to the overall optic there versus the uh, lighter, almost like a almost like a very dark tan or a dark green finish on the duly devoted. But we'll go with the Freedom Fighter. It's gonna give us a more black blacker finish. Now the skeleton stock, again, we're gonna go with the duly devoted stock because it changes it from the base skeleton stock. You can see we have a more older looking skeleton stock there, a little dusty, uh, worn looking finish to the skeleton stock versus duly devoted is a more modernized, brand new looking skeleton stock there. So we'll go ahead and select that. So those are four attachments. Now we're gonna want for the magazine, obviously those 5.45 by 39 millimeter rounds. So we have the base, Freedom Fighter, duly devoted, 
or even the black bear. So I think we'll go ahead and use, you can use either of these. You can see how the black bear looks really nice there, almost like an AK-12 STD magazine. And then we have the Dewey Devoted one. So we'll go ahead with the black bear and you can see there, that's our modernized all black finish for the AKS 74U. Again, I know a lot of you have been asking, that's a really nice looking build there. We'll go ahead and back out and then we'll go to our AK-15 or our AK-12 series again. So. We've gone over this heavily in the past. It's really more of an AKM, a modernized AKM. Uh, but again, based on single player naming conventions, they call this the AK-15 or the AK-12 in game when it uses the steel curtain blueprint. But for this one, again, I'm using that steel curtain blueprint. So what I'll do is back out and we'll reselect again the steel curtain. So again, this one can be unlocked via the challenges for anybody. So we'll go ahead and customize this. What we're gonna do is strip this down to the base steel curtain build. Now for the barrel, we're going to want that Spetsnaz barrel. So you can see the steel curtain versus the dust gripper. We're actually going to go with the steel curtain. Very little changes to that Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard. Optic, we'll go ahead and skip out now for, or excuse me, the laser will skip out. For the optic, we're going to go ahead and do something just like the monocle reflex for that Russian red dot sight there. And you can see the changes with the sand sweeper how that would look. We'll go with the base because we want to keep that black finish. Now the stock again, we can do something nice with the duly devoted to give us that more, that black finish of the weapon, or we could go just with the standard steel curtain FFS stock there. But we'll go with the skeleton stock for the dust gripper, or excuse me, we did the skeleton stock for the duly devoted, not the dust gripper. So we did duly devoted and that's three attachments. The grip will leave the same. Again, the, you can't change out the whole pistol grip. You can just change how the grip tape looks on the weapon based on those blueprints. The ammunition, now for an AK-15, we want the 762 by 39 rounds. So you can see the steel curtain. That's, that's a little bit bugged. I think this is actually a steel curtain. And then we have the dust gripper. So we'll go ahead and actually do the dust gripper because if we did put a, mag, a camouflage on there, it's gonna change how that looks. And then for the underbarrel, again, we can do something like a, you can see the different options there. We'll do like a Ranger foregrip. And then you could even do an AK-74 style muzzle break on that. And you can see how that looks. Really nice looking design for that weapon right there. Again, this is an AK-15. Now, because we have that Black Bear magazine, or excuse me, the Dusk Ripper, let's see which magazine we have. The Dusk Ripper magazine on there, we're able to actually change the whole cosmetics of the weapon now. So if we go to cosmetics, we'll do something like a, we'll try like a Spetsnaz Red. So you can see right there, now we have the whole magazine has the camouflage on it. Whereas if I were to do any of the other options, the Steel Curtain goes to standard black as well as a standard Spetsnaz magazine. So you can see the changes there. But if we put that Dust Gripper magazine on there, that's gonna keep the actual changes to the, there we go, we'll put that muzzle brake back on, to the camouflage there. So you can see how that can look really nice with based on the different camos that you use. Now again, if we wanted to do, let's go ahead and back out, we'll strip the paint. And if we wanna do an AK-12, or basically an AK-74M or N series in real life, again, it's just called the AK-12 in game, so we call it the AK-15 or AK-12 here. But for the AK-12 builds, we'll go ahead and just edit the magazine again. We'll go ahead and switch out. We went the 545 by 39 millimeters, and we'll do something like a Black Bear. Give us that nice finish, more of a modernized SK-12 magazine, STD looking around there for the magazine. You can see how nice that looks overall. And again, if we put the different camouflage on there, that unfortunately won't change it with that magazine for the 545 rounds, but then we can do you can put like a, again, the AK-74 style muzzle brake on there. And there's our AK-12 based on the new magazines. And we have that nice modernized looking skeleton stock there. So that's a really nice looking build, AK-12, AK-15. You can mix and match those really nice. I don't think for the suppressors, we really don't have anything for the suppressors based on the blueprints that I have. But again, the Revolution muzzle brake gives us that AK-74 style muzzle brake on the weapon. Looks really nice. So now backing out, going to our next one, we're gonna cover the MCX Rattler. So we've covered this in the past. Now the mix and match that I did here is based on, I think I used the base, I used the base M MCX or the M13. So we can see the, where is it? The short stuff I've covered in the past, as well as the die cast. Give us that 
MC Hector Rattler handguard to the weapon. Again, this is also very similar to the weapon used in the Clean House mission in single player or even the Wolf's Den. But we'll start with the base M13. And what I'm going to do is we'll start with the barrel. So we're going to want that. So the base M13, this would be their base barrel. We're going to want the short stuff barrel, or you could even do the die cast barrel if you wanted that tint change. We'll go with the short stuff. The suppressor, you can see die cast for that. We're going to go with the tactical suppressor actually for this. Now we're not going to do a laser because it's going to give us, if we were to select the laser here, it's going to give us that rubber band on the weapon. It just kind of, for me, it kind of ruins the, the look of the weapon instead of just having it cleanly mounted on the Picatinny rails and having not having that tape there. If the tape weren't there, I think it'd be fine. You can also do the option uh, based on the, the other barrel design. We can make that tape black, but again, we'll deselect that. The optic will go with something simple like a, let's do a holographic sight there. Now the stock, we will do the skeleton stock. We can see the short stuff versus the tank or even the die cast. We'll, do, we'll go with short stuff just to keep the color consistent. Now the grip, we'll go ahead and keep blank. We'll keep the magazine blank. Another option would be the 300 blackout rounds. And then for the underbarrel, we'll do something like you can see what the tank would look like there. But we'll keep it. We'll keep a nice black finish to this. So we'll go ahead and do the Ranger foregrip on this weapon. So there is our nice looking MCX Rattler build for the weapon. Now again, if we put the tack laser on, you can see how that would change the weapon and give us that same similar cosmetic changes to what we see with some of the other blueprints. But you can see that. How that looks, if we were to deselect the laser again. So that's our MCX Rattler build versus the actual blueprint that we have for the short stuff. So you can see if we just select this and view it, you can see how that looks. So we have the changes to the magazine there, obviously base magazine, so we can't replicate that magazine on any other weapon. And it just, without, we don't have a laser on there and that's how it looks with that rubber band. So. I prefer the other build that we just showed you. you get to keep a nice cleaner look to the weapon. We don't have that black electrical, electrical tape on there either, which is nice too. So we'll go ahead and black back out. We'll go to our M4 build. So this is one that a lot of you were requested. I saw some photoshops floating around online for this M4 with a carrying handle. Now a lot, a lot of people were showing M4 with a carrying handle with the actual magazine for the task force, which you cannot do unfortunately, because it's a base magazine. But for this blueprint, what we're going to want is I'm starting with the, OG blueprint just because it's the only one I have with the carrying handle. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now we'll go ahead and strip this down. So we have our base OG just with the standard attachments on here with everything stripped. Now for the barrel, we're going to go ahead and want that. Let's see. We're going to want that task force barrel to give us that M4A1 looking task, task force blueprint barrel on the weapon. Then you have different muzzle options here. You can see the task force or the default. We'll just leave it default for right now. Laser, we'll go ahead and skip. Optic, we're gonna leave blank, obviously, because we want that carrying handle. Now the stock, we'll go ahead and do just a default stock on the weapon for the M16 stock. You could also do something like a forge tack to give it maybe a different M4 look. So here we could do something like this as well. So we can select that. Unfortunately, we'd have to change the color to black. We don't have a black variant of this yet. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the rear grip again, no, nothing here. And I have quite a lot of M4 blueprints. Ammunition, we'll go ahead with a 50 round for the OG. We cannot do the Task Force base 30 round magazine on this. Can't select those cosmetic changes for this, unfortunately. Then for the under barrel, I think we'll just go ahead and probably most likely leave blank on this weapon. No real big changes here. We can go ahead with the Task Force one to give it that similar type of Ranger foregrip there that we see. So that's going to be our M4A1. Now, if we select something like a default M16 stock or even the OG stock, we can put on there. And there you go. There's our classic Colt AR15 or our M4A1 with the carrying handle that a lot of you requested. And you can see if we go ahead and put paint on that, how that would change the weapon. So there we go. And then we can also do different barrel options here, which will cover some stuff in the future, but we can do with the 11 inch predator, we could do something like that also. So we'll go ahead and back out. Now we'll go just to the just build I did with the MTAR. Again, not quite an MTAR because we don't have the nine millimeter conversions yet for this weapon. It still has some cosmetic differences that we've covered in the past for those videos, but I'm utilizing the sandstorm blueprint here. And you can see if we just go ahead and select that blueprint, 
at base, so we'll go ahead and strip it down. We have our base sandstone blueprint without any attachments. So for the muzzle, we'll go ahead with the lightweight suppressor, and we'll do the subterfuge fuge so we get that wrap around the suppressor. The barrel, we'll go ahead and leave blank base, or actually we can even do the compact like a sandstorm to give it a nice shorter barrel there if we really wanted to. Now the laser option, no cosmetic changes to this based on the ones that I have. Optic, we'll go ahead and select that Cronin 2x2 two two Elite. So we have the base versus the Sandstorm. We'll go ahead and do we'll do the base just to mix and match. Then the stock options we have, you see here, just different butt stocks on the weapon. Sandstorm versus base. We'll go ahead and leave base. Then for the rear grip, no options there. The magazine, we only have a fifth round option. I don't have this leveled up all the way, I don't believe, but I think that's the only magazine option also for the weapon. Then for the under barrel, we have something like a Ranger foregrip for a sub-tier fuge. I think that's the only one I have with different options there. So there is our MTAR 21. Nice mix and match there. You can see that looks pretty good with the Sandstorm blueprint. Unfortunately, the hand card to the weapon is still black. You can't change the color to that. So we would have to go in and change the actual overall camouflage of the weapon to something like this. And that still still doesn't give us the the complete seamless change of the hand guard. But again, it's, it's not too bad. It still looks pretty nice. Now we could also put, if I back out to the attachments, we can put something like that Midwest Industries handguard on here. We see with that longer barrel here. There we go. With our FFS Ranger, we have that M-Lock handguard from Midwest Industries. This is basically our TAR-21. Mix in and match in the different attachments. We have that base magazine for the Sandstorm. It looks really nice on this weapon as well. Now we'll go ahead and back out. We'll cover... Two more weapons I have here, the DSA-58 OSW. So this is one I've covered heavily in the past. It's a, one of my favorite weapons. However, we weren't able to mix and match the right attachments that I really wanted. So what I'm going to do here is start with the Smooth Dominator blueprint. So if I go to my blue ones, we have the Beef Eater. The ones that I have are the Beef Eater, Skull Shot, Smooth Dominator, and then there's my custom DSA-58 OSW using a Smooth Dominator. So what we're going to do... There's, if you can mix and match the Smooth Dominator and the Skull Shot, you'll have basically the perfect weapon that I wanted. So we'll start with the Smooth Dominator because we want that black handguard. Now if I go to edit this, we'll strip it down to base. So for the muzzle, we're actually going to want the Skull Shot muzzle break just because it looks uh, much better. and You have a shorter handguard, or excuse me, barrel option on the weapon. So we'll go ahead. If, you, if I put this OSW barrel on, you'll see what I mean. So we'll go with the Smooth Dominator, Skull Shot, you can see the camo change there, and the Beat Beater. So we'll go with the Smooth Dominator. Now you see if I deselect, deselect this, let's see, deselect, whoops. So I'll deselect, now we have that longer base muzzle for the cosmetic change, which I don't like. It's It just looks, it looks really weird, I don't, it looks like it's not rendered for some reason, I've never been a fan of that. So we'll go ahead and put a muzzle break. We'll do a skull shot muzzle break just to give us a shorter overall weapon, more in line with the OSW. Now for the optic, the one that I prefer is the four times flip. Again, you have something like the aim point for the beef eater. You can mix and match those. Now the stock, another big change here. We want the factory aluminum stock. So the option here, I want the skull shot just because again, it looks more modernized. We have the tape on there. Unfortunately, we don't have the padded cheek rest on either any of the blueprints thus far. But again, that looks really nice with the weapon. We can mix that. And then the last one, we'll just put a 30-round magazine on there for fun, or you can even do a 24 to stay in line with something more appealing cosmetically. But there is our DSA-58 OSW. And now if we were to just... DC, we could also put... One, really what I like to run with that online is the Ranger Foregrip. And there we go. There's our DS-58 OSW for the fail conversion. Now we'll back out and look at one more one here with the SR-25 build that I have. Utilizing the Task Force Blueprint. This is, again, just a nice mix and match for the weapon. So we started at base with the Task Force Blueprint. If I strip this down, so we have our Task Force. Now we'll go ahead and put, you can see the different flash options there we did. We'll do a Monolithic Suppressor. Now for the barrel, we'll do a Corvus Custom Marksman. It's typically what I run with this, but we'll go ahead for the Polytope, polytope Handguard. Now the Optic, again, will typically what I run on this in multiplayer and Warzone is the Variable Zoom. So we'll do the Polytope there, give it that different camouflage of the tint to the weapon and the finish now the stock again this is pretty cool with the m4 so we can run with the og or even like the xrk m4 to give us a nice cosmetic change to the stock there so we'll run default for right now for the o 
for the M16 stock. Now the ammunition, we would want, we don't have 762, so we'll have to go ahead and do the 458 SOCOM. We can do the polytope right there. And those are our five attachments for this weapon. You can see now if we apply the camouflage change to the weapon, how that looks. Because we have the task force blueprint, that upper that part of the upper receiver is not going to change cosmetically for the camouflage option. So that looks pretty neat. Now another cool one, if we were to deselect this and use the XRK blueprint. So this is one that they actually removed from the game way back. This was a glitch in season one, I believe it was. This is the first uh the first LVOA C video I did was with this. This was a bug back in the day. Um would say remove sense. So the FS FFS 14.5 TAC light barrel. If we go ahead and do the zip tie blueprint build on here. Now there's been a lot of these barrels. We have the zip tie, the zip tie and the Soul 4 Wanderer both have, have this as well as so a lot of other ones out there. But this is what it actually looked like. If you put the standard, if you just put a regular 14 and a half inch barrel on the XRK, this is what you would get is this zip tie blueprint back in seat when season one launched. This was a bug that they eventually removed, but you can see how that looks. This is our original video that we did for the LVOAC, or really the Salient Arms gray handguard on the weapon to change it. This is how it looked when we first did this. So if I, I, I can replicate that exact build that I think we used the holographic, we stuck with the commando foregrip, the ammunition we kept, we kept blank with the black PMAG as well as the black pistol grip. And then we had the Stock option, I think we selected the base forge tack, but we also, again, have these other options. Calibruto, we have a different a black buffer tube, and we have these other nice options there. So we'll go with the black Calibruto. We have the buffer tube, and then for our camouflage, I believe we used the monocles, monocran snake, I believe, is what we used. One of these ones. And there is the original build that we did for our LBOA. See now for our if I just go back here for our laser. I think we can actually change this I think these are both actually black lasers unfortunately, so we can't cosmetically Here we go. So if we go ahead and use the base one now we have the tan Raptor light on there So there <laughs> there is the original LVOAC or the Salem arms gray rifle that we used back in the day using the XRK blueprint for the weapon looks really nice we mix and match some of those attachments so these are Really, all of the ones that I think I had today. Again, this is really part one of it. We had our nice AKS-74U here, this all-black finish. But let me know what you guys think, what ones you've built on your own and what you've mixed and matched. Again, utilizing it really going to be based on the different blueprints that you have unlocked in the game. Well, you can mix and match. You can't mix and match actual like receivers or pistol grips themselves or base magazines yet. Hopefully, maybe that'll be something they'll add down the road. But we'll have to see what this looks like as more blueprints come available in the, in the following seasons as well as in the store. I know there's a lot to come, but let me know down below what you guys think, what different builds you've made with different blueprints. Leave the comment for the base blueprint you've been using for your mix and match, and then add the different attachments there with the different blueprints they come with. And we'll see if I have all those unlocked. I'll go ahead and put it in a video, but let me know down below what you guys think, what attachments you've put on your weapons with this Frankenstein weapon conversion, and I'll leave you with that. Until next time, Buffer Gaming, out.